Hey guys, it's Dan Nintendo here, and today I want to talk about the tracks that I would like to see in the Fruit Cup for Wave 4 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. So anyways, before we get started, Nintendo just recently announced a couple weeks ago that a brand new Yoshi's Island track will be coming to Wave 4 of the Booster Course Pass DLC. That is really exciting, and I can't wait to try out this new Yoshi's Island track when it does become available sometime this spring. My guess would be Wave 4 will probably come out sometime in April. Either before the Mario movie goes into theaters or after that. I'm not sure, but sometime in April. Either before Easter or after, because Easter is on Sunday, April 9th. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the tracks that are coming to 8 Deluxe. So, we have, like I said, Tour Tracks will always be the first race, and then you have the Wii track for the second race in the Fruit Cup, and then you have another DS track. Unfortunately, we have just one more Mario Kart DS track, and then we have the new track that we just discussed here, and that is the new Yoshi's Island track. Alright, so our first race in the Fruit Cup is going to be Amsterdam Drift from Mario Kart Tour. Now, I don't have my own video clip of Amsterdam Drift 1, but here's a video clip of Amsterdam Drift 1 from X-Cage Game. So what we're going to see here for lap 1 of Amsterdam Drift in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is we're going to be turning right and left, and then eventually we'll glide uh, toward the windmills. And uh, then we'll take a left and make our way through the farmland. And then go over the bridge and then jump into the ferry and back into the town. Watch out for the trolley car. I don't know if that's going to be an obstacle that you crash into. Alright, now lap two. Here's my own video clips. Um, so you'll be going into the water taking a left and then go right left then there you go so that's how Amsterdam Drift 2 will be in lap 2 and then for the third and final lap we're gonna go underwater into that green tunnel back out of the water into the tulip fields watch out for those piranha plants along the way and uh, then we'll go underneath the building enter town take a left uh, go across the bridge go right and then left watch out for that trolley there and then a couple left turns and then that will end the race. Alright, there you have it for the first race. Next up is Wii Mario Circuit. Now, I love that track a lot because there are very little obstacles. You have several Goombas and a Chain Chomp. That's all you have. And I want to see this track make another comeback because it hasn't made any comeback in one of the later Mario Kart games whatsoever. So, other than its first appearance in Mario Kart Wii. So, I would like to see Mario Circuit make another return in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure if that'll be the case or not, but I just love that track so much. So, yeah. Alright, now on to the third race. And now, since we only have one more DS track to choose, so Nintendo's already added Luigi's Mansion and Airship Fortress to Mario Kart Tour. Now, these, these are the only two that could possibly make it into Wave 4 in the Fruit Cup. We have no idea what track it is, but I'm gonna still go with Airship Fortress anyway because it has a lot of pretty cool stuff, like bonsai bills for the beginning of the race, and then you have these rocky wrenches on the airship about halfway through the race. And then you have these, like, uh, flamethrowers. I don't know what they're actually called, but there's, like, three of them. They're coming from the ceiling to, like, burn you, so watch out for those. And, uh, yeah, those are the only obstacles that are there in the game. Now, I would like to see that track make another comeback in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe since its latest appearance in Mario Kart Tour, after all, so... I mean, it's a pretty cool track, and I love it, and, uh, we'll see what happens. I hope that Airship Fortress does make another comeback onto Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for Wave 4. We'll have to wait and see. So, yeah. Alright, our fourth and final race in the Fruit Cup. This one's going to be pretty easy because we already talked about this earlier in the video and that is going to be the new Yoshi's Island track. Now, we only got to see some snippets of the track itself. I'm hoping Nintendo will maybe show us like a full walkthrough of how the new Yoshi's Island track is going to work when they post the Wave 4 DLC release date on their YouTube channel sometime next month. So, yeah. What do you guys think about my thoughts and ideas on the track? that I picked for the fruit cup let me know in the comments below and also if you guys have any other ideas or thoughts about what tracks you would like to see in the fruit cup other than tour Amsterdam drift and the new Yoshi's Island track let me know in the comments below so that way I know what you guys picked so yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video then please smash the like button down below and if you guys have just watched this video and are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet please do hit that subscribe button 
because our goal here is to reach a thousand subscribers we are halfway there right now at 511 subscribers we just need 489 more in order to reach a thousand and hopefully we can go beyond that even that would be awesome and uh also please don't forget to hit the notification bell to see more of my content anyways that'll do it for this video you guys thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video when i talk about my predictions on what tracks i would like to see on the boomerang cup anyways goodbye